milling and packing rice that appears on supermarket shelves around the country, a business based in Rochester worth millions. Now this is Thai treatment rice, right? VT Foods also has developed a new method of producing microwave rice that's exported around the world. The company was set up from scratch by Moni Varma, who's concerned about the impact of Brexit. About £9 million investment on hold, right? Because you don't know what will happen over the referendum. Well, whatever happens, if we exit, that investment becomes smaller. That's because high import tariffs make processing rice a viable business within the EU. Right now, I employ between 200 and 250 people here. Um, and if there was no tariff, I don't think I would have employed more than 20. But it's the opposite for this hovercraft manufacturer. High export tariffs mean trading outside Europe can double costs. We're actually not really able to sell to Brazil at the moment. Yes, we can, but unfortunately the tariffs are so extremely high that it makes it completely unreasonable to be able to sell there. And that's because we're in the EU? Unfortunately, yes. Um, obviously, we can't trade with Brazil direct. We have to go through the EU with a trade negotiation. So the trade negotiation has been going on with Brazil now for 17 years. At this market, the prices you see are the prices you pay. But for businesses in Britain who trade globally, there are hidden costs. So what has all that got to do with the price of fish? Well, it proves that the EU is a complex market and it's hard for companies in the South East to know whether they should vote in or out because it depends what business they're in. But experts explain if the EU didn't cut trade deals on behalf of the UK, then they'd be brokered through the World Trade Organization or WTO. If uh, the decision is to go, then effectively the UK will have to negotiate, again within the WTO framework, every single trade agreement uh, that is currently governed by EU rules. So you don't actually know whether some of those tariffs will be beneficial in the future or some of those tariffs will be worse uh, in the future for UK businesses. So currently VT Food benefits from being in the EU and the British hovercraft company loses out. Could that change following the referendum on June the 23rd? Peter Whittlesey, BBC South East Today.